Good morning, my friends. It's kind of an overcast, cold day in Sacramento, Kentucky. Uh, we need all kinds of weather, though, to appreciate uh, um, the particular kinds of we weather that we like. Um, there's always a contrast. Today, we're going to be back in the 119th Psalm. Today, we're going to talk about the 105th verse. Very familiar. We'll get to it in just a minute. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the 119th Psalm, verse 105. We know that the word is a lamp unto our feet, Lord, and a light unto our path, and we're thankful for that. Teach us, Lord, what it means, for it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The main part of the 119th Psalm 105 is the Word. Yeah, the Word is a lamp unto your feet, helps you to know where you're going, and a light unto your path. <clears throat> In my lifetime, I have been on airplanes, trains, Buses, trucks, all kinds of automobiles. I used to have a motorcycle. I've had scooters since my eyes have been so bad I can't drive a car. Many, many different kinds of cars. Uh, you know, all kinds of cars. Um, the 1967 Le Mans convertible. Uh, emerald green car that I had was my all-time favorite. <laughs> I love that car. Uh, all of these things represent movement, locomotion, flying in the air, riding on the four wheels in an automobile, etc., etc. This psalm is about your own personal locomotion. The Word of God is like a lamp that illuminates your feet, shows you where you can walk, where you can be safe, where you can be careful, and a light onto your path that shows you the things around the area. The psalmist was very careful always to give God the praise and the glory for it all. Not too long ago, I had a Psalm um, 119, um, 11. The word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. They all have a message. We don't want to sin against anybody, but especially not God. Well, every time we sin, we sin against God. And every time we don't see our way, it's not because it hasn't been illuminated. It's not because it hasn't been clear and in, in perfect focus. No, it's been because we've had some misdeeds going on inside our mind and our heart. I watched the news this morning. And the news was talking about um, um, policemen being killed every day. Policemen all over the world are being killed. And it talks about people fleeing. Fleeing away from a crime. The word of God is something he wants you to put in your heart so that you can motivate your life, so that you can walk and go where he wants you to walk and go. He wants you to walk in peace. He wants you to walk in love. He wants you to walk in knowledge. He wants you to walk in contentment. There's so many adjectives that could be used here. He wants you to be his emissary on earth. He's looking for you because Al Johnson can reach people that you can't reach. And guess what? You can reach people that I can't 
I can't get to. That's why it's a togetherness thing. That's why it's the body of Christ that we call the church. It's a collection of many, many millions and billions of people belong to the church. God is the, is the groom, and we are the wife, the bride. <clears throat> so hard for us to understand the simple things. We need to gear our minds um, towards the Word of God. If you're in the Word, if you're studying the Word, you're studying all about Jesus. I know I quote John 1.1 1, 1 a lot. In the beginning was the Word, a capital W, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus is the living Word of God, and the Bible is the written Word of God. Put that together and you have an unbeatable combination. Folks, you're out there, wherever it is, it might be cold. You might be in sunny Florida where it's 75 degrees in New Smyrna Beach. <laughs> uh, that's not fair. Um, wherever it is that you are, the Word is always at your disposal. Put the Word in your head and put the Word in your heart and put the Word out there where people can hear it, and it will change their eternity. Think of it. You have the power through the 119th Psalm, verse 105, with the knowledge about the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You've got it. Use it. Use it to the glory of God. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. we got to pray about a lot of things. Let's pray. <laughs> oh, Heavenly Father, uh, our life is a prayer. It is, Lord. Let our lives be in tune with God Almighty, in tune with Jesus, God the Son, and in tune with the sweet Holy Spirit, God the Holy Ghost so powerful. Let us be united with him, guided by him, loved by him, motivated in every way, shape, or form by him. And let us share the word, <laughs> the knowledge of how to get to heaven with all we come in contact with. This is our prayer, Lord, and we pray it in Jesus' name and for his sake. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters. You have a wonderful day. Use the light. Use the light.